And of course I said, Paul has retired, we signed Chaco, so where's Sebastian Vettel going, you might be wondering? Not that the genius to figure it out. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Two games in a row I've had this. Okay, last game it was when I restarted the same, but Sebastian Vettel has rejoined Red Bull Racing alongside Max Verstappen. Two drivers who've won a championship in a Red Bull car are now teammates at Red Bull. You cannot make this up. And they're out finally, and we're under whip of a smoke from the back of Ricardo's tires. Did he get the brilliant launch? Well, Claire did a good launch as well, and has already passed us. And up in the third as we cut to the inside, and Daniel Ricardo into turn one takes the lead. Um, Ricardo though, has just he just controlled the race. He got the launch, and he just controlled things. He had a difficult season last season. He had a decent first season with the McLaren in 2021 and then last season, in season one of my team on F1 22, he had a bit of a difficult year. I forget where he finished but he didn't have many brilliant results to speak of. But now he's starting season two off in the best possible fashion. Daniel Ricciardo wins the season opener of season two. He takes the Bahrain Grand Prix, the fireworks are going off and he is delighted. But Lando Norris has had a very good exit off of turn 10. This could be his best chance yet. He's on the outside line with DRS into turn 11. Can he get by Leclerc on the outside line? Yes, he can. Lando Norris takes the lead of the Australian Grand Prix. Leclerc is still right on his tail though. Uh, but anyway, and to be honest, Fernando Alonso could probably do a pretty damn good sketch at the back end of both cars. Because he's been sat in P3 right behind these guys the whole time. He's just been sat there with a bucket of popcorn. The whole time as Leclerc's had a good exit off of that corner, he's pushing, can he go for the move? He's thinking about it on the outside line, not quite going for it, but yes he is, Norris goes wide! And Fernando Alonso is very skatey there on the corner, he's seen an opportunity to try and get a second place in this race, but Norris is just holding on, Leclerc was pushing, he was pushing behind Norris, he was pushing him, trying to push him into an error, and he finally managed it. He pushed Norris into an error and took full opportunity to retake the lead with two laps remaining in this race. Leclerc now leads by 1.2 seconds to Norris, who had it all in the palm of his hand, and it slipped away in one corner. Now it's not a chance, and this is a fantastic way to start our flying lap. That's a fantastic way to start our flying lap. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you there, lads. So we're on the back foot already, and we're going to start our lap. Fan freaking Fabi Dozy there, lads. We're already a tenth and a half, almost two tenths down, and we haven't even got to the first freaking corner yet. That is just absolutely wonderful. Into the first corner, Verstappen's improved, as I said. Verstappen has improved, and that's not good. That is uh, not the way to start our lap. That's even worse. That is even worse. As Wait, what? I'm stuck. But, but, mate, I'm beached. What the hell? I didn't know this could happen. I, I'm legit beached! What the hell? I spun it around, kind of like George in Brazil, and then... Uh, uh, beached! I am beached! I didn't know this could fucking happen! I am legit beached! I can't help being stopped on track, game! I'm fucking stuck! As um, I ignore all track limits, I don't even get a warning. How is that legal? How is that legal? I really don't know. We've got purple in the middle sector. According to the mini map, and now we're in the wall. Well, that's counterproductive. We wait for the lights to go out the route, and we are racing in Azerbaijan. It's actually a decent start from us for once. As we make the run down towards turn one, Leclerc is up the inside in the first corner. We're in the side of Ricardo and in the wall and losing our front wing. That is a counterproductive start to this race. We're gonna have the box at the end of this lap. And I'll tell you what, Red Bull could be on for a freaking one two here today. Seriously, Red Bull could be on for a 1-2 here today. Mark my words, Vettel going longer, Russell also pissing. Meanwhile, back to the We're still holding for a safety car. Aye, aye, aye. I am stupid. Too much speed. Too much speed. I just took way too much speed into that corner and I just compiled what was a bit of a disaster of a weekend. And it is Daniel Ricciardo on pole position. Welcome back, Daniel Ricardo. Where the bloody hell have you been? He's gonna be looking for moving Cops corner. He is down the inside in the cops. He's trying to get the ladies brave from bravery from both of them. And now side by side through maggots and beggars. Now they're banging wheels. We're right in the background, and this could have really compromised them down the back straight. This could really compromise Verstappen as we're right on the tail of Jeff. He was always in first place. Shut up. 
We're right on this half until we just not have DRS. We're down the inside and we head towards Stone Corner. We've got the move done. We're up in the second place. And now Fernando Alonso has swooped on through ahead of Verstappen, who I'm sure is going to be trying to fight back into Vale. He is trying to fight back into Vale, but he's not going to be able to. And Alonso is up in the third place. It's all gone wrong there for Verstappen in just a few corners. But Daniel Ricciardo is leading the way then. And we're going to be going to the inside line for Stoke Corner. And we're taking the lead in the slightest. We're half a second ahead of Ricardo, who's got Fernando Alonso right on his tail. And Fernando Alonso, is, is he going for it? He is going for it. A cop's corner. Who knew Colts would be such a well-liked overtaking attempt opportunities today? But they're still side by side. This didn't end that well. Last time it's not ended well. Ricardo's have got wing damage. Two into one doesn't go, lads. Two into one doesn't go. Is that... And it has ended in a heartbreak for Daniel Ricciardo. From pole position, he's going to be in the pit lane. Alonso's making his way out to the pit exit. I don't know if this is going to be close. I don't think this will be anywhere close. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. There is not even fucking... It's not even fucking close. Alonso with miles clear. It's not even close. Alonso is well clear. We've lost about five seconds to Alonso. We were one second ahead of him. We're now what? Three and a half behind him? We have lost a good four or five seconds there. But the man of the moment is the man in P1. Fernando Bloody Alonso, where the hell has he come from? He's been there or thereabouts all season. Renault has built a very good car this season. It's definitely best of the rest potential. Alonso with a couple more good performances. He could be right up there for a champion for a late season championship challenge. Um, but he's still got it. And uh, it's been 10 years, 1 month and 21 days since he last stood on the top step of the podium. For the first time in 203 races, Fernando Alonso wins a Grand Prix. He wins the British Grand Prix. It's his first win since, uh, since the 2013 Spanish Grand Prix. Take a bow, Fernando Alonso. Pierre Gasly, the first retirement of this race while his former teammate continues to lead. Um, Verstappen, oh, the, the soft runners have started to pit. Pardon me. But Max Verstappen will not be one of them. He will not be pitting yet. As there goes Verstappen at the end of lap 12, into the pit lane. He's finally boxing. Now my question is, he's going onto the medium tires. Can he get to the end on the tires? He's got, what? 36 minus 12, that's tw got 24 laps to do on the soft compound, on the medium compound tires. Can he get to the end on these tires? Close for Max Verstappen with an 8.9 second lead over Charles Leclerc in second place. Um, but oh, Max Verstappen, he's slow. What's happened to Max Verstappen? Max Verstappen is a, is a mechanical failure. It is heartbreak for Max Verstappen. Max Verstappen from the lead of the Dutch Grand Prix is out. It is heartbreak for the Dutchmen, for the Dutch fans. They came to see if their man could win his home race. And they're going to be disappointed on that one. How have we lost so... I'm, I'm not even going to add that. There's carbon fiber flying in the background. I don't know what just happened there. But the safety car. Are you kidding me? All I know is this is going to hand a huge advantage to Lando Norris. There is um, Leclerc coming down the main straight. Lando Norris is indeed in the lead of the Italian Grand Prix. Leclerc is down to second place now. Lando Norris, meanwhile, um, is under a bit of pressure here, maybe. Leclerc is a lot closer than he's been. This is the closest Leclerc has been to, to Lando Norris to be able to make a move. Can he go for the move? He's looking for the move. He's going to be on the outside line. Heading into turn number one. Can he make the move? The stick. He's going to have all the Monza cheering him on. But it's not quite going to work out. Well, whole of Monza. Whole of Italy cheering him on. As Lando Norris is deep and Leclerc swoops on through. What happened there? The Tifosi will be cheering that one. Lando Norris making a mistake. And for the second time this season, Charles Leclerc has forced Lando Norris into an error. And has taken the lead of the race back. This is exactly like Australia. That was exactly like Australia. Lando Norris in Australia had the win in the palm of his hand just a couple laps from the end. But then he locked up into turn 11, which then handed the lead to Leclerc, who then took the win. It's happened again here at Monza. Perez, why are you pitting? 
Uh, why is Chaco in? Why is Chaco in the pit lane? Uh, we take the lead of the race, but why is Chaco in the pit lane? What? I I'm confused. Has he got damage? There's no way he has way damage. He wasn't freaking racing anybody. Why? What is he doing? Sergio Perez, what are you do What are my team doing? What are my team doing? Who hired the Ferrari strategists? Who hired Ferrari? It wasn't me. I did not hire the Fer I said I wanted to use the Ferrari power unit, not the Ferrari strategy team. Oh my god. This could have been the easiest one-two of our lives. This could have been the easiest one-two of the entire game. We've had a chance at. But now, no! Sir, because our strategy team have just thrown Chekhov's win down the drain. Chekhov's chance at the win, rather, down the drain. Oh my fucking god. Why? I, I'm lost for- I'm lost for words. I'm lost for words. Well and truly. We just need to get the exit right out of this corner! But we haven't and we've spun it around! That is not what we needed! That is the exact opposite of what we needed! As we're down to 8th place now! Here come the two Renaults behind us! Esteban Ocon goes past us, Fernando Alonso as well! Uh, we're gonna try and get back past these guys in the turn four. This contact me. We've got wing damage. That is counterproductive even more now. Very, very quickly. As uh, we're not gonna be close enough to get, try and go for a move to get back past the Lonzo here into turn number 12, where we're going horribly deep and just avoiding the wall. As we are gonna be boxing in at the end of this lap for a wing change on the hard compound tires to go to the end of this race. Um, because the car hasn't. It's not feeling too good. So we're gonna head on. Into the pit lane now! Okay. I am stupid. How the fuck did I do that? How the hell did I do that? Oh my god. How did I do that? Lab 19, we're on here. Oh yeah, that's how I got another three second penalty. Um, so it's now six seconds of penalties. Absolutely fucking fantastic. We're close to being able to stay in the top five, but my god, this could be about to get so much better for us. Vettel ahead of us has an issue. This could be big for us, god damn it. Could be about to lose third place here as we're up the inside, into the corner. There's no contact made if we get by him. And we're into the podium places and now we just have to go. As Norris is now checked out a little bit from these guys. Vettel now with Alcon right on his tail, as but not quite able to go for the move. I mean, Norris has lost it. He's off. He stopped there. I, I, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what happened there. I, I forgot to look. I mean, Norris losing it there. Okay then, that is bad for Lando Norris, but that's brilliant for us. After spinning wing damage, more wing damage when I crashed into the pit entry, and six seconds of time penalty, we're gonna somehow finish in P3. That well, um, as I see front wings flying in the background, Lewis Hamilton, he's definitely not getting those tires at the end because he hasn't got a freaking front wing. And the safety car is now out. Well, Bangles, my medium soft idea. Seems like it's going to be a medium hard strategy after all. Um, oh, but Checo, he said something. Checo said something. I wasn't looking at the screen. What's happened to Checo here? I completely missed that. What happened? Sergio Perez, our teammates, out of the Brazilian Grand Prix. And that has brought the safety car back out. I was looking at the standings on my other monitor. And he's still on the inside. Well, he's on the outside now. And he's just pulling ahead of Checo. Um, who has the same thing Hamilton did. It's the same thing Hamilton did, but this time it's clearly come, come off a lot worse for Checo. Clearly broken suspension, drive shaft, or something like that. No steering or something. And he's out of the Grand Prix. And we're just under one second ahead of... But the safety car is out again! What's happened? What's happened here? What on earth is going on in this race? Oh my god, we've got a pileup. We have a Sauber of Marcus Armstrong who is out of the Grand Prix. We have a Williams without a front wing. What has happened this time? Verstappen made this thing. That's brilliant for Verstappen on the soft compound tires. And then I just got a bit out of shape and wide there. 
lifted arms or not cause a pile of bin behind. I'd imagine that's probably wing damage for the Reno as well. That's my best guess. Uh, uh, yeah, and hello, Dodgy Collision Box. It's lovely to see you again. Yeah, Archon definitely has damage. Stop and go for the move. He's been run onto the grass. And they hit the press the boarding as well there. Um, he's gonna have to wait on that one. This is gonna come in down to the last lap between these guys. And that's Daniel Ricardo with damage again. And I think this time it's Terminal. Because he's slow. He's pulling off. Daniel Ricardo is out. Of the Sao Paulo Grand Prix on the penultimate lap of the race has not worked out for Daniel Ricciardo today. Now this is Charles Leclerc's Ferrari on the grid just before the lights are going out with no front nose. I do not know why this happened, but it did. It's like this for the whole race and you can sure as hell bet I am pulling the ever-loving piss out of this all afternoon. That is Fernando Alonso alongside Leclerc. I cannot take you seriously, my man. I cannot. I cannot take this man seriously right now. I, I'm sorry, Charles. You're my favorite driver, but I just cannot take you seriously, man. I mean, Ferrari have gone for the lightweight, extra low downforce setup today. It seems in that the, the front wing, in, the front wing isn't even on a low setting. It ain't even fucking there. Leclerc's coming up hot on their heels as well. Only one second behind these two. And they better be careful on the straights because Leclerc is probably going to zoom on straight past with that low down force setup. A bit of a shame, they're all over the road, they're all the way up to the wall there. And Daniel Ricciardo's now on the outside of Esteban Ocon, I think there might be a bit of contact through the corner. Is medium tyre against soft tyre, Mercedes power versus Renault power, but there's Ferrari power in the background, here comes Leclerc. They're gonna go three wide as George Russell tries to get past Pierre Gasly into the turn nine and he's managed to do so. But Leclerc, he's got one, he could go for two here. He's gonna go for them both. Leclerc on the outside, what a move from the man in second place in the championship. He is on an absolute mission today. He knows what he needs to do and it's not what we're doing right now. Either way, it, it is still advantage us in the championship because Leclerc's only in P7 but he is on a mission. He is called to the back of Gasly very quickly. He's within DRS range now. And like I said, it must be low down for setup. That must be why he's so quick. Pardon me, low down for setup, but there's enough down for us to keep him planted, keep it planted so he can keep it planted when he's going around the outside at turn nine at two cars. And uh, Leclerc is uh, right on the rear end of that Alpha Tauri car. You can see the shadow of the front wing, but it's not there. What's the front jack man going to be lifting up at the pit stops? He's going to be lifting up nothing. I'm sorry, it's just so fucking weird. It is so weird. And take into account as well the fact that I've basically said that Leclerc is the driver I'm going after next season, which I'm pretty sure everybody would have seen that, seen that coming anyway. This is basically, probably, Leclerc's last race for Ferrari in this, on this career mode. And they haven't given him a front wing. Classic Ferrari, but he's trying to make the best of the situation. He's still rapid. He's trying to get past Pierre Gasly. To him, as that is Marcus Armstrong in the wall. And that is going to be a safety car. We're getting a new strategy suggestion. They wanted to box the slap for Harris to go to the end. I'm doing it. I'm in. I'm going for it. Oh, come on. It's a no-brainer. It's an absolute no-brainer. The you box for hard tires. This could be... Brilliant for us with some other people in the pit lane. Carlos Sainz and Yuki Tsunoda both onto the medium tires. They started the race on softs. They're gonna have to pit again in this race. Uh, because both medium tires will not go to the end of the Grand Prix. Oh no, they might, but it would be a stretch. But no, 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 they would not go to the end from here. You'd probably, you'd probably have to go to like lap 10. As Joe Guan Yu retires from the race as well. Uh, you'd have to go to like lap 10 or something like that, pit at the end of lap 10 to get the mediums to the end from there. You'd have to really, really yeah, bring solves like 10 laps into the race and 19 laps on mediums. It's doable. I wonder if anybody else will box. Because this is it's a bit of a no-brainer box situation, you know? Uh, it's a bit of a no-brainer. Uh, but we'll see if the AI think that. Um, the strategy team from my side of the garage have clearly thought, yeah, this is an absolute no-brainer. Are they going to think that with Checo? Are they gonna box Checo? Is Checo gonna- If Checo boxes, then I owe my strategy team an apology. I owe them an apology if he boxes. Norris does not. He continues on. Max Verstappen also continuing on, but Checo's in! 
Oh, please tell me he's going onto the hard tires. If Chanko's going onto the hard compound tires, then I think I might owe the strategy department a huge apology. Because this could be a hell of a strategy call from our strategy department. And it is hard! Sergio Perez boxing onto hard compound tires. He can go to the end of the Grand Prix on those. Have, my, have the strategy team just pulled an absolute blinder? They could have just pulled an unbelievable strategy call. If this works, I owe the strategy department a huge apology for Singapore. George Russell is in fourth place. Charles Leclerc is pitting! Oh, uh, seems a bit early for me, for the others to be starting to pit. Daniel Ricciardo's in in the background. Fernando Alonso, I believe. Uh, no, Esteban Ocon, sorry, is also in. What the fuck are Ferrari doing? Are those medium tires? I see. What the front jackman? The front jackman's pulling up air. What the? Why is he going on the mediums? Oh, Ferrari, you guys are having an absolute fucking shambles tonight. Why is he on another set of mediums? What was the front jackman lifting up? And we're ahead of Yuki Tsunoda. The front jackman was lifting up air. He was lifting up nothing, absolutely nothing. Evan Magnuson back there, as we screwed it up again in turn nine. Luckily no damage, but we have hit the barrier. That has not gone very well for us. And now the car behind us is our rival, Charles Leclerc. Both of us are having an absolute fucking shambles today. The only benefit for us is we can go to the end. Leclerc has the box again. And it was quite possibly his final race for Ferrari, at least for now in this career mode. Uh, we'll see what happens for season four. Um, whether I keep Leclerc for season this could possibly be the last race for Ferrari. Um, they've not given him a front nose and they've put him on a stupid two-stop. I need to bear in mind, Lando Norris was not that far behind him as well in the championship. So this could cause- this could potentially cost him second in the championship as well. As we're all getting into contact, we're gonna try and take advantage and get past Lance Stroll. And you may have seen in the rear wing mirror there, it's not even just on the replay. It's on this onboard as well. Leclerc still doesn't have a freaking front wing. So Magnuson and Leclerc both dive it for the pit lane. And um, I, I'm gonna ask the question again, what the hell is the front jack man gonna be lifting up? Last time he was just lifting up air. You can see the shadow of the front wing. Don't tell me that's hard tires. Jesus Christ, Ferrari. Fuck's sake, man. They're doing the same strategy that Paris did in freaking Singapore. Jesus. What are Ferrari doing? I feel like that's a question we ask ourselves a lot sometimes. What are Ferrari doing? But Perez is leading. We're in second. After an absolutely unbelievable strategy call from our team under the safety car. We're one and two. I apologize to the strategy department for Singapore. But yeah, gotta be honest. You guys fucked up Perez's strategy in Singapore. And um, Sergio Perez is in the lead. Leclerc is down in P11. He, as I said, he could lose P2 here. I wonder how much of that is going to be down to his team for getting the front wing. But Sergio Perez are, in his final race is our teammate. Out the final corner after a brilliant strategy call wins the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix for our team. But we're going to come through behind him in second place here. A brilliant strategy call from our teammate. We didn't need to finish on the podium, but it certainly is nice. We're going to exit the final corner. And after the season-long battle, we win the championship here in Season 2 of My Team Career Mode. Thank you very much, Elvis. I didn't I expected to hear Jet. 